Millennials are coming back to the burbs. I'm Jill Horner. This is Comcast Newsmakers. With me is Mayor Jerry Scharfenberger of Middletown Township. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you. You had a recent article in New Jersey uh, League of Municipalities magazine related to millennials mm -hmm. and the suburbs. And many people associate millennials with urban environments mm -hmm. and wanting to move to city centers. But you say that you see millennials coming back to suburbs. Right. And one of the things that, you know, uh, is a big bone of contention, I think, with a lot of suburban mayors is how do you attract millennials? Millennials and how do you keep them here? And you know, while it is true that they prefer an urban environment that's walkable and, and maybe they don't own a home right away, they rent, maybe they Uber or rent cars rather than own a car. But we are seeing that after a few years of living that way, once they get married and start to have children, that they are moving back to the suburbs. And we're starting to see it here. And I think it's a little bit ill-advised to urbanize traditionally suburban or even rural areas in the hopes of attracting them right out of college. So suburbs can't be all things to all people. Exactly, exactly. And there are some suburbs that lend itself uh, that maybe have a main street that can accommodate that sort of growth. But when you try and urbanize or, or create too much uh, dense uh, development right away, it overwhelms the infrastructure, the utilities, certainly the road infrastructure. So you really want to uh, keep the integrity of the suburbs as they are. Because when people move to suburbs, they move for a certain quality of life. Is there a balance, though, between keeping this quality of mm. life but also attracting millennials, having some of the amenities, maybe restaurants mm. or retail that millennials may want? Is there that balance? Sure, and you can do that plus keep the parks and the, and the nature areas and the preserves that we already have. And I think that's what attracts people with families, the bigger house with the backyard and, and things like that. We're, e we're very easily uh, located to get to New York City and even Philadelphia. So uh, you can't trade that, and we wouldn't want to you know, impinge on that with overdevelopment. So that's what we're trying to keep here, maintain our character while attracting uh, millennials back. And you say uh, not having overdevelopment, but you have had mm -hmm. development uh, mm -hmm. in terms of uh, new housing, uh, even larger houses. Are millennials moving into these new residences? Yeah. As a matter of fact, we were shocked. Uh, we had a former golf course uh, that had 190 single unit uh, housing development on it. And uh, they put them out for about seven hundred, eight hundred thousand dollars $800,000 per unit. And they were selling so fast, they took them off the market. Now they're selling for $1.3 million. And the average age is about 35 years old. So we were astonished at that. And that kind of woke us up to the fact that millennials are moving back, but a little bit later in life. Thanks so much for being with us. Okay, thank you. We've been talking with Mary Jerry Scharfenberger of Middletown Township. I'm Jill Horner.